textbook in the warrior work on Coach Hill. And then the City Grand Warriors Basics Chain Whip Section 2. We're just going to be teaching you some of the basics of the Chain Whip here in Section 2. Because they're a little more challenging. And you want to be patient with yourself as learning. Okay, so you've already done your downward X's and upward X's in the previous segment. And now we want to go into head wraps. Head wraps can be a little more challenging, a little more daunting. That's why you want to be using your practice rope instead of a real chain rope from the beginning. Initially, again, you have downwards to your right, upwards to your left. In this one, we're just going to put our head down. We're going to let the rope wrap around our neck. As it wraps around our neck, we're going to just turn our head to our left. We're doing our upward. So again, downwards right. Again, we put the head down, turn the head to the left as it unwraps, or into our upward. Now, as we do that, we're also going to step. So again, you're going to put your head down, step, right? And then you're doing your upward right there. Now, the next one, the downward is a little bit trickier. I'm going to do it from the rear first. Your head's going to go down, back, and turn your left. So it's got three steps, whereas in the other one, you only had two. You went down and turned to your left. So my head's going to go forward, back, turn to the left. Again, upwards now are on my right, downwards are on my left. Again, head is going to go down, back, to the left. My right hand is staying right by my shoulder as it does that. I'm going to switch sides so you can stay up in the front. And again, whenever you're going to switch sides, you just let your arm extend, but it die out. So it's kind of throwing right and left, the direction you want the weighted end to go. Okay? So, again, I'm going to go both of these. Downward to step. Okay. And switch. And now we're going to do the forward, back, to the side, left. So it's going to go, and watch the placement of my right hand as well. So it's going to go over, back, and to the left. Three movements. You just got to remind yourself. And again, a lot of these times it's very good to actually say these out loud, because that actually helps program your brain instead of just thinking it. Forward, back, left. Okay, and then this time I'm going to step with it. Forward, back, left, step. And then we have our forward steps. And our steps switching directions. You can switch directions really either way. I can switch my direction coming this way, so we back. It's going to be kind of comparable with turning. Be able to turn this way. And be able to turn this way. Yeah. Let me show you that with the chain whip. You call this a practice whip. In the chain whip, uh, hug you a little bit tighter. But same principle, okay? Again, a lot of times it's good to put a flag on the end, because otherwise that almost becomes invisible. You can put a flag on this end as well. Okay, it's a little more showmanship. So again, spinning around, downward right, upward left to my left. It's going to go down, step. In the rear position, remember it's going to go down, back, to the left. Down, back, to the left. Nice right step. Again, down, step. And down, back. Turn the head to the left, step. That movement right there will take you some time to get used to. Play that, practice the head wraps. And then we'll move into more of section two in the next segment.